is an SU TV news update. Brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. The NSU Homecoming Parade route is returning to downtown Fargo. Scheduled for Friday, October 11th, the parade will move north along Broadway through the downtown. This was the parade route from 1922 to 1982. A pep fest for students, alumni, and the public will follow the parade. The NDSU football team has won back-to-back -back FCS national championships, and now they will be rewarded once more with a visit from ESPN College Game Day this weekend when the team faces off against Delaware State. Announced on Saturday, the news sent shockwaves through NDSU Athletics. NSU Athletic Director Gene Taylor was found saying, if you asked me when we decided to move from Division II to Division I, if College Game Day would be on your campus, I would have been, that wouldn't have come to mind. The three-hour show that draws over two million viewers each week will start at 8 a.m. A nine-year-old boy with autism was missing for nearly four hours on Sunday evening. Lieutenant Joel, Joel Vettel with Fargo Police says Drayvon Untershire was found shortly after, shortly before 9 o'clock on Sunday near his, near his home in the 1000 block of South University Drive. Vettel says this isn't the first time the young boy has gone missing. A similar situation happened in June. Officials say they are working with the family to find a long-term solution such as a GPS tracking device. Colorado is continuing to battle historic floods. Four people have died in the floods with a fifth fatality feared. Thousands, have, uh, thousands of people have evacuated their homes. Authorities said more than 500 people are still unaccounted for. Colorado normally sees less than two inches of rain in, in September, but has seen more than 14 inches in the past week alone. The rain, the rain is expected to subside today with, with mostly sunny skies forecasted for the rest of the week. And now look at the 36 hour weather. Today, it, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 70. Tonight, it, 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 it's going to cool off. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be a little breezy with a high of 75. And now look at the rest of the week. It's looking that, that there's going to be a chance of storms later in the week. But then it's expected to cool off. And it's supposed to be a little bit cloudy, but a little bit sunny this weekend, heading into a chance of some more storms early next week. This has been an SUTV News update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.